We're good? All right, good afternoon. And thank you all uh, for joining us here today for uh, this exciting announcement. I wanna start by thanking uh, the Greece Town Supervisor, Bill Rylick, and Michael Huntress from AppQuest Development for being uh, with me here today. I also wanna acknowledge the efforts of the Monroe County Director of Planning and Development, Anna Liss, and her team that helped to work on the proposal that's being announced today. Today is a great day for our region as we stand together to celebrate another critical investment that's being made in our community. One that will bring new jobs and opportunities to working men and women and families throughout Monroe County. Like so many other communities across the state and nation, Monroe County has seen increasing unemployment and job loss as the result of the COVID-19 pandemic. Every job is critically important, but even more so now as we begin to rebuild our local economy and rehire our local workforce. Despite the pandemic we are facing, we are still recognized by many industry leaders as an ideal place to attract and grow businesses of all sizes. Today, we're excited to announce that through a proposal by AquaQuest Development, Amazon has proposed to add, their foot, add to their footprint in Monroe County. We've known and heard of Amazon's interest in continued growth in Monroe County and our region for quite some time now, and this project is a significant step forward. Located inside Eastman Business Park at 1200 Lexington Avenue in the town of Greece, the proposed site is an ideal location for an Amazon warehouse and distribution facility. As the largest industrial park in the Northeast United States, Eastman Business Park offers site-specific utilities and roadways and provides easy access to nearby 390 to accommodate the increase in traffic. This is, this is a reactivation of land that was once home to Eastman Kodak and it positions our community for future development and growth. Overall, Amazon has proposed a facility that will be 180,000 square feet. Project cost will exceed $50 million and it will create 50 full-time jobs and 50 part-time jobs. And it will create roughly 400 local construction jobs which will be a huge boost to the skilled laborers and workforce in our community. This is a significant economic investment here in Monroe County and the town of Greece. And we're hopeful that this is just the beginning of our partnership with AppQuest and Amazon and that it will have a multiplier effect attracting other businesses to locate here in that area, in this area. This project will not only have a positive impact on the people that it hires, it will have a trickle down effect on the entire local economy in countless area small businesses. Today's announcement is an incredible opportunity for our region to continue to solidify and expand our workforce. And it's an acknowledgement that despite the looming impacts of COVID-19, Monroe County and our local economy remains attractive and it remains strong. It's a statement that we are not contracting, we are growing and we are remaining competitive with other regions and other markets. In order to build stronger families and neighborhoods in Monroe County, we need to continue to work together as government leaders and with the business community to ensure that we all have the opportunity to succeed and grow here in our county. Next, I'm gonna invite up to the podium, uh, my partner in government, uh, the supervisor of the town of Greece, who we worked very well and close in cooperation with to make this project a reality, uh, Supervisor Bill Rylick. Thank you, County Executive uh, Anambello. It was uh, a pleasure, this effort's uh, providing uh, a lot of benefits to our community, and I'm glad we were able to work together to accomplish this. Although we are making this announcement remotely due to COVID restrictions, I'd like to acknowledge our Greece Town board members, Councilman Mike Berry, Councilman Josh Jensen, Councilman Bill Murphy, and Councilwoman Diana Crisidaro. Also, our Deputy Supervisor, Michelle Marini, and our Development Services Director, Scott Kofi, were all part of this process. All of these individuals have worked tirelessly to ensure that this project is a good fit for our community. Under the code name Project Python, the town, our Development Services Department, and many members of our management team have been working behind the scenes for nearly six months, trying to bring this project to fruition. This project advances the, score, the, the core goals and recommendations for our 2020 comprehensive plan, including targeted industrial growth and job creation. 
This parcel lies within our newly adopted Economic Development and Innovation Overlay District, and this project has received priority and expedited planning and permit review since the town was first approached. Our planning board completed a coordinated environmental review pursuant to Seeker, and a negative declaration was issued on October 1st. Local site plan approval was issued on October 15th of this year. What does this mean for the residents of Greece? Jobs, jobs, and more jobs. Good jobs with benefits and solid wages. This project is a per perfect example of a cooperation utilizing public and private resources joined together on behalf of our community. Despite the economic challenges that everyone has been dealing with since COVID, today is a bright spot in the path of future economic opportunities coming to our town and to our region. While we're very excited about this project, I've certainly made it very clear that we welcome any future development that Amazon would like to bring our way. We have a very resilient community, new business partners like Amazon have the potential to create many related businesses showing interest in setting up shop in our town. The success of the smaller enterprises that offer goods and services utilized by Amazon is definitely a positive we hope to see here. Thank you to everyone for sharing our enthusiasm as we welcome Amazon to the town of Greece. Right. Thank you, uh, Supervisor Rylick, and to your team uh, at Greece Town Hall uh, for all the work that you've put into working with AtQuest uh, to get us to this point today in this announcement. So at this point, um, uh, Steve will manage uh, us taking questions. We have myself, Supervisor Rylick, and Michael Huntress from AtQuest here. Okay, as we do with all of our virtual uh, uh, press conferences, there'll be one question and one follow-up on each reporter uh, for on-topic questions. First up is Patty Singer from the Minority Reporter. Hi. Um, my question is that there's jobs coming into, into Greece and also um, there's a plan to bring something much bigger into Gates. So my question becomes, uh, are these jobs just going to be suburban jobs or are these jobs also going to be involving people who live in, in, in the city? Because I think there's a big difference in welcoming jobs to Greece, which is important, but also welcoming jobs to the Rochester area. Oh, Patty, this, this, uh, this, this project obviously will attract jobs that are available to people across this community. Uh, today's announcement is particular to a development that's located in Greece uh, on Lexington <laughs> Avenue, uh, which is an accessible location. And I think uh, it would be a great, uh, a great opportunity for people throughout the community to apply for these positions. But Nancy is on the screen and she's not interpreting. We still do I have a follow up here. We've got some problems with the transmission here. I, I guess the, the, the follow up on that would be is how much is this a sister or brother um, uh, project with what is what the Equest is doing in Gates or is that going to be a separate announcement? Uh, that's a separate project. I can't speak to what Equest is developing in Gates, but today we're announcing Amazon uh, Amazon's proposal in the town of Greece. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, next up is uh, Randy Gorman from WXXI. Yes, thanks. Is Michael Huntress there? Can I ask him a question? Nancy needs to take over. Thank you. There, Nancy needs to turn off her camera. Hi, Michael. How are you? This is uh, Randy Gorman at uh, WXXI. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, Randy. And you? Great. Thank you. Uh, I guess a real quick two-part question. Uh, are you at liberty at all to talk about uh, your company's interest in Gates and whether that might uh, involve Amazon? What I would tell you, Randy, simply is that we own 3 million square feet in the Rochester market and that there's a significant need for high bay industrial type facilities. And in the last eight weeks, we've gotten two different projects approved totaling approximately 500,000 square feet between the two. And we know that there's a shortage of that type of space and a demand for it in the market. Is that other project, the, the, the land in Gates, is that what you're talk, referring to? That's correct. Yeah, it's, it's just under 300,000 square feet as this building's just under two. So oh. approximately 500 in total. 
Okay, very good. Uh, if if I can just real briefly, um, Grand Island, uh, I know there was some interest, it didn't work out for Amazon over there. Um, uh, is there any relationship between, you know, hey, that didn't work out, but, you know, maybe we, we're going to put more of our attention now uh, as far as Aquas is concerned toward the Rochester area? Well, we're fortunate enough that we own property all throughout New York State. And, and honestly, at this point in time, the, the two projects are not similar. Um, they're, they're different projects. And it's unfortunate the one in Grand Island didn't work out. And we're optimistic about the projects that we're working on here in the Monroe County community that will be successful with each one of them. Great. Thank you very much, Michael. You're welcome. Okay. Next up is uh, Tanner Jubinville from 13 Web. Hi, good afternoon. Um, wondering, just a, something I've been seeing on social media and that is kind of, wait, what, what purpose will this particular grease warehouse serve? I guess what, um, you know, these, I guess what, what's going to be coming through? Will this be kind of serving more of the upstate area? Will it play a, a larger role in, in shipping all over the, the country or North America or? Hi, this um, facility in Greece is known as the final mile. It's the last step from Amazon to your doorstep, and that's what it'll service. Uh, in addition to the 181,000 square foot building, there's about 100,000 square foot approximately um, awning to, to take care of the cover for the truck. So it's the last stop before the product comes to your doorstep. Thank you. And a follow-up I have is about the, the jobs in Greece. Um, I think I saw 50 part-time or 50 full-time, so about 100 total. Can you just talk more about these jobs? I guess maybe the expected wages, uh, you know, what types of job, what type of positions, I guess, these are specifically? So we've been told that uh, the jobs that go along with these distribution centers have a minimum of $15 an hour and come with a full benefit package. So these are good jobs. Um, like I said, you know, they've, they've indicated to us minimum of $15 an hour. And again, uh, employees across the Amazon system uh, all receive the same uh, benefit package or a similar benefit package, no matter where you are in the wage scale. So that's one of the reasons why uh, these jobs and this announcement today is exciting. And this is a positive step because these are good uh, uh, jobs for our area residents. Okay, thanks, Tanner. Next, we have Berkeley Ray from WHEC. Hi. Uh, <clears throat> first, Steve, are you able to allow me to get video up here so I can see myself? It says uh, you, you cannot start video because... Start my video. There we go. Excellent. Thank you. Um, question for Michael, if Michael, if you can come back to the podium for a moment, that property that you own in Gates, is that's going to be Amazon. Is that correct? We have a project that is approved for that site. That's a 280,000 square foot building. And I'm not at liberty to share, um, who exactly is going into that facility. We're working currently with a number of different tenants. Okay. Follow-up question is, how is what you're producing in, in Greece, how is that going to be similar or different than what's going on with Amazon and Henrietta? As I had said before, there's a shortage of a high bay uh, warehouse industrial space in the Monroe County market. And we own 2 million square feet that we have nothing available. And we feel that there's a need and a shortage of supply. And that's why we're, we're here today building more buildings. Thanks, Berkeley. Thank you. Uh, next is Steve Wharton, the Democrat Chronicle. Steve, are you there? I'm sorry. Uh, this is Steve Wharton. Were you talking to me, Steve? Yes. I'm having a hard time making out what you're saying. Um, just a quick thing for Adam, if I could. Um, if Adam, if you could repeat the, the development cost of this project, you mentioned it earlier and I missed it. And then tell us if there are any state, county or town uh, financial incentives or tax breaks being offered to Amazon or to AquWest. 
Sure. So, Steve, it's a, I'll go back to the specs again. So this is a 180,000 uh, 180, square foot project um, that is going to be just over $50 million in construction costs, creating 50 full-time, 50 part-time jobs, uh, and will create roughly 400 local construction jobs. Um, as part of the application, uh, they have applied uh, through Comita uh, for a payment in lieu of taxes agreement, a pilot agreement that would in year, the details of which are online, um, this particular pilot agreement in year one uh, would triple the, number, the amount of payments to both the uh, town, the school district and the county, and then phase in uh, the full uh, uh, assessed value of the project and the, and the phase in the full tax amount over a 15 year period. Thanks, uh, thank you. Okay. Next is uh, Erica Costa from WRRC. We work with a lot of national companies, so there's a number of different interested parties, and I would think that there'll be more to come in the next 30 days. Do you have a follow-up, Erica? Um, I had a quick question for Michael. I think your company has owned this land on Lexington for quite some time, correct? Um, so how does this project kind of fit into what you've been hoping was going to go there? And is there some relief or whatever that you've found a project suitable for that land? So we've owned the land since 2008, and it's uh, adjacent to 2 million square feet that we own that we've been successful in leasing over the course of the last 12 years. So the, the, the building, I believe, now has 10,000 square feet available, and it just we, we got to a point in time where it made sense to develop the vacant land adjacent to. The infrastructure is there, and the need for the space is there. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, last up is Spectrum News. Yes, uh, good afternoon. Thanks for taking our questions. I kind of hopped on the call a little bit late, so I'm not quite sure if this has already been addressed, but what kind of time frame are we looking at in terms of the Grace location opening? So we broke ground on the Grease location a week ago now, and our expected delivery of the building complete is the end of July, um, early August. Do you have a follow up? Nope, I'm good, thank you. Thank you. Well, I'd just like to say this is a tremendous opportunity for our town, not only for the good paying jobs, but the fact that we're utilizing a facility uh, formerly known as Eastman Kodak Company, uh, a tremendously large uh, piece of real estate that at the Greece portion is pretty close to 100% occupancy. Uh, it's uh, either under current buildings or commitments that have already been made under contract. So we're very pleased about being able to rejuvenate this site and continue to provide jobs for the residents of Greece. And as was mentioned before, these are good paying jobs with, with medical benefits, dental benefits, eyeglass coverage. So uh, it's, it's on part of what people have seen in, the, in that uh, site before as far as the benefits and good paying. So we're very happy in Greece was built over many decades, per, predominantly from Eastman Kodak Company employees. And we wanna continue seeing that growth in our town. And this is just one more aspect of that as we go forward. So we, we are thrilled with this. Again, it's bringing in revenue uh, on land that was before uh, vacant. Uh, and even with the uh, considerations, it'll bring in more revenue to the school district, the town and the county than it once did. So it's all the way around. We view this as a very positive project and look forward to continued growth in our town. Great, and I'll just uh, uh, reiterate uh, uh, my thanks to the town of Greece, uh, Supervisor Bill Rylick and the team, and everyone who worked on this project, and just say this is a really great announcement for the town of Greece, 
um, also for the greater community. Um, this, this shows that despite the challenges that we face as a community, that we're facing all over the country, um, you know, companies like this have options uh, and uh, they chose uh, to grow and expand and Amazon's proposing to grow and expand right here in Monterey. County. And this is great news for our residents. It's great news uh, for our economy. It is great news for the prospect of jobs. Uh, so uh, I think this is a great announcement today. I want to thank uh, Amazon uh, for bringing this project to us. Thank AtQuest Development. Um, and uh, we look forward uh, to seeing this project successful and opening next year and uh, continued growth in Monroe County uh, in the months to come. So thank you all. We're out.